Christmas. Love, Stanley. Hi, it's me again. Christmas is here, and I'm finishing up my last greeting card. I think I'll send this one to my best friend. He's been a little sad lately, and I know this card will cheer him up and give him hope. Something else that can give us all hope is baby Jesus' arrival into the world. In today's Gospel, we'll hear about the time when baby Jesus was born, also known as Christmas morning. That's one of my favorite stories. It looks like we just got a letter from another friend of mine, Father Paul from St. Mary's. It says that he wants to tell us the story of Christmas morning. So let's hear from him. Merry Christmas, Father Paul here to share with you one of the most popular stories in all the Bible. The story of Jesus' birth, also known as Christmas morning. In the story, we'll also hear about an angel appearing to shepherds to tell them the good news. Imagine the hope they felt knowing God brought Jesus into the world. So let's begin. In those days, an order came from the Roman Emperor for all the people in the world to be counted. So Joseph and Mary went to a town called Bethlehem, which is where his family came from. While they were there, the time came for Jesus to be born. Since there was no place for them in the inn, Jesus was born in a stable. Mary wrapped her firstborn son in swaddling clothes and laid him in a feeding trough called a manger. In the area, shepherds were out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, but they were filled with fear. The angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, for you in this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. There was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. The angels went away, and the shepherds said to another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see. And they found Mary, Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. Ah, that really was a great story. And it shows that Christmas is much more than just presents, lights, or frosted cookies. It also shows us how much God the Father loves each and every one of us by bringing his only son Jesus into the world. Remember that word that we used before? Hope? Well, when Jesus was born, it gave his parents, Mary and Joseph, hope that one day the world will be an even better place because they were told Jesus will spread the good news of God and make us all happy. By doing all of this, God shows how much he loves us, and we can return the favor by loving God and by loving each other, too. There we go. I'm ready to send this card to my friend. This will make him happier and show him that I care. And just like the story of Christmas, we can all show how much we care for everyone by loving others and by loving God, too. My name is Stanley, and Merry Christmas. Goodbye.